Good morning. This is Scott Cullen. I'm the editor in chief of the Canada Report. I'm here once again with Frank Canada, our founder, and Frank has a special guest. Frank, welcome. We're, we're very pleased uh, today to have our special guest is Tammy Beach from HP. Tammy's the key person when it comes to dealers. Our 37th survey results will be coming out uh, in the October issue. One of the areas that we've looked closely on is uh, HP. Uh, since they've entered into the uh, A3 space, I think it was 2017, at least that was the time, they completed the transaction uh, with, uh, with Samsung. And uh, we've tracked them for five years and we can see uh, a steady, a steady path of growth on the A3 side, and an increasing, uh, I, I don't want to say dominance, but in terms of revenue, it's pretty close to being dominant. So I'm going to let Tammy tell you more about what they're doing and why they've been so successful to date and what she's got planned for the future. It's uh, You're on, Tammy. Great. Hi, Frank. I am so glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me on and uh, super excited to talk with you today. So, you know, I think that everybody probably knows that HP has been at this for a while, really been trying to crack the code to, to figure out how we can make some progress with the dealer channel. Um, uh, we, I think most recently, as you mentioned, the acquisition of Samsung and, and really coming to market with a full, full portfolio of products has most certainly helped. But really where I think we started to get traction to begin with was in our A4 business and was helping partners to make this transition and, and really build out these really great uh, managed print practices, which has to include um, A4 product, um, primarily uh, leads with a, A4 product. And so I think that that really helped us to reestablish ourselves, um, get, a, get a foot in the door, uh, coming out with a system that allowed them to sell successfully in a managed space versus um, in a transactional space, which is where our A4 product has dominated in the past, uh, was key to, to helping them um, be successful and not have to compete with transactional sales that are going on uh, within some of our other channels. So that helped. Um, most certainly, I have to give credit to my team and the work that they've done to really recruit all the best partners out there. Um, over the past several years and take the time to build the relationships with them that uh, not only grew our A4 business uh, substantially, but also um, really set us on, a, on the right trajectory and glide path for A3 growth and A3 adoption. Uh, we've been spending some um, a lot of time in the past 18 months, as much as possible with COVID travel, <laughs> but I would say myself personally, trying to get out to the events that the industry is having trying to have a presence um, and, 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 a, and a close conversation with our dealers is helping. And I'm, and I'm going to say that while I think the growth and the progress that we've made in the past year, two years, um, has been phenomenal, I can't wait for what's to come. Uh, we have the best technology that we have ever had in our portfolio coming, and we are just super excited to continue to grow with our partners in both the A3 and A4 space. Uh, interesting, uh, Tammy, when uh, obviously uh, going through the survey and looking at the comments question, the question about Amplify seems to have died down. I, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't catch any of that in, in this year's survey to any degree. That is that is great to hear. And we expected and, and hoped <laughs> for that. We knew that it was going to be a huge change for our uh, dealer community to understand and embrace and operationalize the requirements that we had from Amplify into their organizations. And we have worked really, really hard to mitigate the, um, the effort it takes <laughs> to work with HP. I'm not saying it's easier, a lot easier, but every day we try and make progress toward making it easier. And, um, and I think that it, um, we're hopefully starting to share some of the value back with our dealers uh, with business insights from that data. The better the data that we get from partners, the more consistent that data is, the more we can provide um, insights that help with better decision-making, help um, our dealers understand where their customers are in their buying process, where the dealer themselves stands up um, across the channel in their business with us. And those are important um, points of, of insight that help businesses make, um, help them drive their business with us forward. So 
hopefully we're making progress there. And I know we're making progress on um, automating the process and just making it easier. 